Welcome back everybody to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well. In this video, I will show you how I redid one of my already constructed buildings to have a facade where there was no facade at the time. Here is what it used to look like, which is it had openings for windows and a door. The first step was to remove some of the details like the figures so that I would not break them because I am prone to breaking things. One of the first things I did was to look for uh, sufficient inspiration and I used this picture from Pinterest to get inspired on making a cafe. The next step was the dreaded demolition. I used a utility knife to carefully cut away the original facade and I was trying to be careful to make sure that none of the LED lights that are in this building would be uh, destroyed. This is not one of my typical step-by-step uh, -step tutorials on how I make buildings, but I'll just give you a flavor of the things I did. First thing I did was work on the exterior. Uh, out of foam core was the original base for the new facade. I used both wood and uh, strine plastic to make doors and window openings and window framing. I've been using the crystal cases of music CDs now that we are streaming music instead of using OCD players to, to listen to music. They make some good, clear uh, window glass in G scale. The next big part of the project was to put in an interior. So I went back to Pinterest and looked for some more inspiration. I started with some black foam core uh, to roughen the shape and I built it on my workbench instead of in the building. This made it a lot easier to handle the project and not actually break anything that's already built on the, on the layout. Here I'm using uh, wood to make uh, doors and I will also use it to make the, the, the bar. So it was all mocked up and it was a simple matter of making the shapes by measuring off of the mock-up, making it out of wood and gluing it to the, French, uh, the black foam core and attaching it. And little by little, the interior started coming alive and I brush painted the interior to get that old model look because of course this is the 1930s in Italy and it's not the most uh, rich uh, village there is so uh, I did not uh, try to make it uh, super neat. Now, here I am also doing the, uh, the trim, the floor trim. I've, and if you could see, you could take a peek, uh, there is uh, flooring. Uh, representing tile flooring. Here's the uh, the door as it's going to be glued in place. Creating an interior that is barely going to be seen does not entail a lot of fine work. I added uh, rudimentary tables that are covered with uh, a tablecloth made out of paper and I also created a, a ceiling with a fake tin roof uh, that I found an image on uh, on the internet and just spray mounted it to the foam core and then attached this by gluing it using white PVA, uh, white glue to the uh, us Americans. I also 3D printed four fans that I was going to attach to the ceiling, which I did do. They're very fragile. I glued them to the uh, to the ceiling using some. Uh, strine tubes to space them. I added a motor and the intention is to motorize the fans. I did break a few of these uh, fans a couple times so I had to reprint them a couple more times. The, uh, the room was finished in, in such a state that I could slide it in and then uh, I glued the facade back onto the, to the building. The next step was incorporating the new facade to the, new, to the building, the existing building using this cardstock to simulate these corner bricks. I carefully staggered the dimensions of the uh, corner bricks. Then I used Durham's water putty, like I uh, used for a lot of variety of different uh, techniques on the, on the layout. I used this to add some texture to those corner bricks. The last touch was to add all of the vines that I saw in the original inspiration photo of the French cafe with uh, vegetation to show that it's, you know, some vines are growing on it. I found this to be probably the most fun part because it wasn't as critical. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building this facade. I think it really improved the building. 
It makes adds a little interest to the layout and creates some new scenes. Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitan. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.